Hello everyone, welcome to our video. In this video, we are going to talk about design of timber structures. We will be uh, following a sequence of videos following by this problem 1. In the problem 1, we will be designing the solid wood column. In problem 2, we will be designing a build up, a build up column. And in problem 3, we will be designing a timber beam. So, firstly, we will be designing uh, for our problem 1, we will be, we'll be going with a uh, easier problem we will be designing a simple solid wood column and for this we will be following the code uh, IS88931994 you can easily find this code, uh, code book in the internet as you can see we will be following the Indian standard for uh, code uh, for structural timber this is IS883-1994 so firstly let's read our question so other question says is a column carries a, a column carries an axial load of 500 kN Inclusive of uh, inclusive of self weight or uh, inclusive of self weight, repetitive length of the column is 3.5 meter. Design a solid wood column. So, firstly, what we are, what we have been given is we have been uh, we have been given the effective length of the column which is 3.5 meter. So, effective length of the column yes equals to 3.5 meter. So, we have simply uh, noted down. Next, uh, we need to uh, we'll be we will be designing the column uh, on the basis of whether the column is a short column, uh, if it is a short column, or if it is a intermediate column, or if it is a long column. So we have three different types: short column, intermediate column, and long column. So it is uh, defined over. Uh, if we move on to our code, that's if we move a bit at the end of the course, as you can see here, I have highlighted it in our 7.6 uh, 7.6 under columns in page number 13. We have been given solid columns. Solid columns shall be classified into short, intermediate, and long columns. So as you can clearly see over here, our code has uh, classified our columns into short, intermediate, and long columns. Short columns are those one in which the ratio of yes by d does not exit 11. Intermediate columns are those where yes by d does not exit uh, is between 11 and k8. And long columns are those where yes by d is greater than k8. So what is uh, k8? Uh, is k8 is a certain constant, is a certain value. Which we can, uh, which we can determine, which we'll be determining in our other video. So in our first video, is we are going to do from a simple one. So what we're basically doing is we are going to be assuming the column as short column, where yes by d is less than or equal to 11. So simply we have where yes refers to our span and d refers to our and d refers to our depth. So what we're going to do next is we are going to calculate uh, on the basis of yes by d is less than or equal to 11, where we'll be assuming short column for our easiness. So after assuming short column, we are going to calculate yes by d is less than or uh, less than or equal to 11. D is greater than or equal to yes by 11. So as you can see, our value of yes is 3.5 meter, which is 3500 uh, 3, mm divided by 11 is uh, so our value of d needs to be greater than 318.1 mm. So after this calculation, we are going to take the value of add up d as depth of the uh, depth of the uh, depth of the column as 320 mm. So after the depth, we can we have to assume the timber of which kind of uh, which kind of timber? So we have different types of timber. So if you move a little bit more upward, we will we'll find different timber. So uh, right now we are we are taking uh, salwood. This is one of the most commonly used timber. Or otherwise we can use all these different types: teak, uh, teak, sand. There are different types of uh, there are different types. So you can choose any one of these. So right now we are we are going to be uh, take on salwood. Sometimes in our question there will be mentioned uh, to specify to take certain type of uh, a certain type of timber but right now i'm going to take a uh, red timber view of salwood so next what we need to do is we need to find out the area of the column so basically our area of the column is load divided by stress so we have been given uh, axial load inclusive of self weight as 500 kN. so this is going to be our uh, this is going to be our factor load if there was a mention of working load in the question we need to multiply it by 1.5 uh, 1.5 so we have 5000 into 500 into 1000 divided by 9.4 what is 9.4 9.4 is the safe working stress in compression parallel to grain for outside location so how will we will cal calculate this we will be calculating this from our this table so as you can see right now we are going to uh, we are designing a column so as you can see right now we are designing a column solid wood column so for our solid wood column we will be taking the safe working stress parallel to the grain so as you can see we have our value right over here compression parallel to the grain right of wire compression parallel to the grain we have for inside uh, location outside location and for weight lo location so in our question no any source location is mentioned so we are going to be taking it for inside location uh, we, are going to, we are going to be taking it for outside location so outside location is 10.6 uh, 10 
uh, 10.6 but if you were uh, designing a beam in the case of beam we will be taking uh, taking the value of compression perpendicular to the grain so right now we are designing a column so column is compression perpendicular to such so for a uh, column we will be taking will be taking compression compression parallel to grain so if we are do, uh, doing beam we will be taking the value of compression perpendicular to the uh, perpendicular to grain so for cell uh, so for cell load we are going to be taking outside location with the value is 10.6 newton per mm square newton per mm square 10.6 newton per uh, mm square is for inside location so right now we are taking uh, outside location so the value is going to be 9.4 newton per mm square so uh, regarding the location you can either take outside or inside it uh, depends upon you so you need to simply put for outside location uh, so you can uh, take any outside or inside it depends upon you but sometimes if it is mentioned in question to take outside or inside you have to take a uh, so on so right now the required area of the column area seems is load by stress so load is 500 uh, 500 into 1000 divided by the stress is 9.4 9.4 so we get the area as 5391.5 mm square 5319.5 mm square next what we need to do is we need to find the dimension of the column so in order to find the dimension of the column we will be uh, assuming the column as square column so what you need to understand is whenever we are uh, finding the area we need to assume the column as square column so assuming square column d uh, d equals to root over a so we get uh, root over a means the dimension of the uh, column will be simply uh, 231 mm so what what is the, so what do we see from here is uh, we have uh, found out our uh, find out our uh, depth of the least dimension to be equal to 231 mm but as you can see in order to be a short column so initially we assume short column in, in order to be a short column our minimum depth needs to be 320 mm or greater than 320 mm but from our calculation we have found our uh, found out our uh, depth of the column as 231 column 200 uh, 231 mm so what we are going to do is we are going to provide 320 mm only in order to maintain the criteria for the short column so we will be providing 320 mm into 320 mm column as uh, for a square uh, the dimensions in both sides are equal so this is going to be the 320 mm into 320 mm column so we have our span so our design is simply completed and now as for a check in order to find out the load carrying capacity of the column so as we have as we know from here our load carrying capacity p so simply the load equals to area into stress force multiply stress into area so our stress is 9.4 newton per mm square into area area is uh, for any uh, area is simply breadth into width into depth so 320 into 320 we get uh, 962.56 kN so our uh, column of 320 mm into 320 mm can safely carry load up to 926.56 kN while our uh, load which is acting on the column is only 500 kN so we are in the safe side in this way we can simply design a solid load column by assuming a short column finding out the area and again finding out the uh, area as a check and then again finding the uh, required uh, load carrying capacity of the column so this was our simple simpler simple problem one in our column two we will we'll be designing for our build of cell load column and similarly for our beam as well so if you like our con content do subscribe to the channel do like the video and you can find the playlist for all the videos in the comment down below thank you for watching our videos